Welcome back. We all know the demand for travel has skyrocketed since the pandemic, but it is not the only industry that's booming. So according to a survey by the American Academy of Plastic Surgeons, business has increased for more than 75 percent of its members, some seeing their work double. So what's driving all that interest? We're going to talk about that with our medical contributor, Dr. Natalie Azar. Dr. Azar, good morning. Good morning. So I sort of picture it like we've all been doing Zooms for years. Yes. And no matter how hard you try to look at the other people in the Zoom, according to our executive producer, <laughs> science brings you to your own yourself and you're constantly judging and wondering, do I really look like this? I Is know. That and it? I know. Well, that that's definitely one reason. And I think what's interesting about the whole looking at yourself on Zoom Zoom, number one, it's distorted. Like yeah. the video picture of you is not the same as in real life. Yeah. But when you're just staring at yourself in the mirror, you're not make, you're grimacing, you're not making yeah. all these facial expressions, but in a Zoom meeting you are. So people are definitely concentrating on that. But listen to what these surgeons said, the respondents said that the, the main reason that people are, are doing all this yeah. procedures now is that they didn't travel during the pandemic. So they have this travel budget oh, they save money. that is saved up. Uh -huh. And they basically said, 40% of them said that people basically would pay any amount of money to get this mm -hmm. to get these cosmetic procedures done and they just saved money in general but the whole concept of the zoom thing it actually yeah. has a name it's what called it? zoom dysmorphia Oh, so you, which is exactly what you were saying. It's kind of like, I, I look, look terrible like on Zoom. Yeah. But the weird thing is, Hoda, is that I think it cuts both ways because people are also going back to the office. Ah. And now they're like, oh, my God, now I'm going to be in person. I got to dress up. I, I got to look I have, good. Exactly. So I'm going to go. Okay. Which is so, so interesting. If you were to let us know or rank, yeah. what are the procedures people are getting? Yes. What's like number one on the list? Number one on the list is lipo. Okay. Which maybe doesn't surprise folks, right? Because right? I know a lot of people probably gained weight during the pandemic. Yeah. Then we have facelift, breast augmentation, tummy tuck, and breast lift. And what's interesting about this list mm -hmm. is that it actually stratified by age. So facelifts and eyelid lifts were most common in women over... Oh, I like smirking. <laughs> no, I'm, like, I'm not. No, I, I'm, I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Over 45, that's something yeah, I would yes, consider. Yes. And then between 31 and 45 was the rest of that list. And then under 30, lip augmentation or lip filler. So it's, it's interesting, right? And it wasn't just surgical procedures. There were all also non-invasive procedures okay. like Botox and fillers and skin were, treatments. Were and you things surprised like that. about the sheer number of how just how much it increased? You figured there would be some more, but that number seems really crazy. You know, it does. But I think like, I mean, we all sort of coming and we're still in, right? I mean, it's like not to, we don't want to say that it's totally in our yeah. rear view mirror, but I think that, you know, there was this concept of carpe diem, right? Yeah. It's like we, uh, people sacrificed a lot. Yep. We lost a lot, yep. right? Emotionally, economically, um, with our physical health. And I think that people were sort of saying, you know what? Maybe I'm not going to live forever. Maybe now's the time to do something that I've been putting off for so long. And one thing about working remotely is that if you do do a procedure, yeah. you can recover. You have time to heal. In Just private. Just turn your camera off. Exactly. Right. Instead of staring at yourself. See? So in a sense, Makes I think sense. it's kind of intuitive. Yeah. And we've seen a lot of industries, you know, experience mm -hmm. a little bit of a yeah. silver lining after okay. the pandemic. All right, Dr. Azar, thank you so you much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.